I want to be a real boy. What's that, hero? What did you say? Oh, I think we've got just the thing for you. Hello everyone, this is my newest acquisition. It's a Heathkit Hero Junior robot uh, sold by the Heathkit company in the 80s. And uh, these came assembled or in kit form. It's going to be my new project. I'm going to call it the uh, My Pet Robot Project. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to um, uh, take it apart, clean it, because it's pretty dirty. I think this one was found in a barn or something. And um, uh, I'm going to replace its electronics with uh, new stuff so that um, uh, it's easier to program and do stuff with. So let's turn it on and um, uh, do a demo of it. So we go right back here and it's got uh, sleep in a normal mode. So here, it's waking up. That's the reset Ready. button. Um, I think I already said it, so hold on, let's, uh, let's power it off, and, um, uh, get it to go from the start. Let's see, alright, let's wait a couple seconds. Let's see, this is the, um, uh, RF board here, it can actually be remote controlled, see this really cool looking antenna right here, that's right. And it's really neat. I think it also can communicate with your security system, your alarm system, but I'm not really interested in that feature. So let's turn it back on. It's cover. It's hard to do with one hand. And it won't replace its cover. Ah, we'll just leave it off. Whatever. It's fine. So press the reset button. And it's going to do some. Check-in memory. Self-test. Testing block zero. Testing block one. Testing block two. Testing block three. 8192 bytes of memory. Check-in sonar. Please wave your hand in front of my sonar. Sonar. Okay. Check-in, steering. Steering, okay. Check-in, light sensor. Please wave your hand in front of my light sensor. Right here. Light sensor, okay. I don't know how it determines Check -in, that. drive motor. Drive motor, okay. Check-in, sound sensor. It's going to fail on the sound sensor. It's I'm not sure what's wrong with the sound sensor, but the drive was really weird too. It usually it moves more than that, but anyways. Sound sensor malfunction. <laughs> Check in motion detector. Here's the Please motion detector. Please wave your hand in front there of go. my Hello. motion detector. Motion detector. Okay. Set clock and calendar. Okay, here's where this gets Daylight annoying. savings time select version 1.4. Uh -oh. Check in Wrong button. memory. <laughs> Testing. It's going to have to go through zero. that again. All right, well, hold on a second. Testing Let me turn this off and we'll get back to it in a minute. Ring. Here's the side to turn it back on while it's still testing some stuff. Here's the steering, steering. wheel. Okay. It's actually a tricycle drive. It's got sensor. one wheel Please that does the driving. Your hand in front of my I don't actually have to do sensor. anything for this. Light sensor. Okay. Still can There we go. Drive motor. Drive motor. Okay. Check in sound sensor. And it's going to fail again on this. So we'll just get right through this. This is a new battery I purchased. The old ones. They're uh, they're over here. I got two of them. They're six volts a piece, and um, probably just uh, made you guys real sick with that. But so they're uh, six volt, 3.8 amp hour. They're in series, but these are the original ones, so they're they're dead. So I got this new one from Batteries Plus for $15, 4 amp hours, 
12 volts. So here. Let's set the time real quick. Enter. Or not the time. Enter. Date. Was. Don't care. Date. Don't care. Here. Don't care. Enter. Time. Do -do -do -do. Don't care. Takes forever. Minutes. Don't care. 255 minutes. Press enter to confirm or key to change. Enter. Set special date. Enter date. Was don't care. Date don't care. Here don't care. Press enter to confirm or key to change. Enter. I am Piero Jr. Your personal Here we go. Yay. I am your friend, companion. Front looks real cool. I like its head here. The way all the sensors are arranged. But all that's going to change. Because what we're going to do is we're going to replace the motion sensor and the sonar sensor. The sonar sensor, this one, is going to get replaced with a webcam. And we're going to put a new sonar sensor and IR distance sensor and motion sensor behind here. We're going to take out all the electronics which are underneath his head here. And let's, I guess we could open that up and show you. Let's see, I've already taken the bolts out. So. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why <laughs> he he wants the sound sensor to go. There we go. Let's look under here. Let's do a little demo. Here we go. So there you go. There's the sensor board on top, and then the uh, Motorola 6808 micro well not microcontroller but CPU board is underneath. And you got the cartridge port and everything. I would point to it, but it's real hard to like point to stuff and hold his head up by holding the camera. So. <laughs> Anyways, all that's going to be replaced. We'll just, just set that up there. And uh, let's see. Let's press his little reset button so it'll be quiet for a little bit. So. We're going to replace all that stuff with a uh, Arduino, of course, <laughs> and um, uh, then and we're going to make that control the uh, motors and uh, take care of some of the dirty work for the sensors, and then we're going to put a net, a uh, netbook in them, a small PC, and we're going to got lots of space back here to put all this stuff. So you got. Tons of space. I mean, he could put a little house in here for a mouse or something. It is huge. And uh, here's the drive motor. And then we got the drive, the stepper motor that turns the drive wheel. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is a uh, tricycle drive. Um, I guess it's a little loose. We'll try to tighten some of that stuff up. But I think it, I think it'll work just for like making it run around the house, make some noise, being a cute little R2D2 pet robot kind of thing. And you can't see it too well, but there's a wheel encoder right in here on this wheel. Um, this other one, no wheel encoder. This one, wheel encoder. So, I don't know. So, we're going to figure that out. I think I want to add another wheel encoder to the other one. That way, it'll be driven like a tricycle drive, but it will have uh, the... Uh, Distance sensing or velocity sensing or you know ability to tell how its wheels are moving uh, Like a differential drive robot where it was actually driving these two wheels instead of the back one, but uh, I, th I think we'll be okay uh, For now just sensing this one just to sense movement and things just to play with it We'll probably add another one in the future now the electronics up here We're going to be you know, like I said, we're gonna take those out and replace all that so I'm going to be selling all that uh, to recoup some of the cost of the robot and so we can get some new toys and things to put on this robot. So anyways, that's my first entry uh, for my pet robot project. Um, hopefully this will turn out really well, otherwise it'll just 
be another project that sits on the project pile. All right, we guys have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye.